week 14 NFL bets we love. My name is Greg Ivory. Next to me is the man, the myth, the legend, Sam Richmond. And next to him is the man that's undefeated. You're undefeated, producer Ryan. I mean, you came on here before the show. You came on here talking, talking your talk. You know, just want to let you guys know I'm undefeated. All right, so now the, the floor is yours, Ryan. The floor is yours. Go ahead. Take it away. You're undefeated, bro. Yeah, well, I, I didn't come with this stat. There is, you know, we have some rye heads who are who are in the chat uh, always who, who let me know, hey, by the way, you know, you've made me so much money. I'm so rich now because of you. Are you allergic to losing? So I went to the doctor and I, I figured it out. I am allergic to losing. I, I can't lose. It's not healthy for me. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw last week that Browns game. They fumble six, pick six. Punt return touchdown. Those were the three touchdowns that they scored. We had the team total under 27 and a half. Uh, one by the hook. Uh, so That's if crazy. I lost, if I lost on those three touchdowns, uh, I don't know if I would have showed up today. But again, we can't. We cannot lose right now. It's impossible. That's crazy. I mean, how, you. I'm over here. I, I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say, bro. Like you won by the hook. You 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 took the Browns under 27 and a half. Under 27 and a half. Yes. And, and they scored 27 points 27 on points. three non-offensive touchdowns, and you won by the hook, man. You can't be no hotter than that. Welcome to the show, though, everybody. Welcome to the show. I'm going to introduce everybody again because the new people that just logged on to the show, you guys got to know who I'm here with. I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend. Sam Richmond is next to me, and next to him is the man that's 4-0, Ryan, producer Ryan, as we call him. We are giving away our best bets for today drop your locks in the chat we'll be grading your picks at the end of the show but right now we need your help to build another anytime touchdown parlay ryan get in there and tell the people what we need from them we need your anytime touchdown locks i'm sorry i just saw a onions drop we need a plus four thousand leg ryan uh so we're already we're, we're already on track uh but we need we need your locks we need what you like uh who you like to score an anytime touchdown today we're gonna build three legs uh, and then we're going to bet it and ride as a family and hopefully cash as a squad. So it's been a few weeks. So I know you guys are going to be like, oh, well, we haven't we haven't hit in a few weeks. We need it to be safe. Well, no, we need to get rich. We, we need to get rich. So uh, drop what you like. I already see Sports Z Pro says Tony Pollard. <laughs> guys. <laughs> You said that earlier, bro. I you, did. You, you, I, you. I did say it earlier. Ryan is like paying commenters to plant his picks. I, I think that's what's really happening here. <laughs> that I might. Just, that I, might be. Go ahead. Sorry. That might be what's going on. Nah, go ahead, Ryan. That might be what's going on, though. I'm just. I'm just concurring with Sam. I'm just. Like that might be you might be paying these commenters <laughs> to ride with your picks, Ryan. I'm reaching out in the Bleacher Report DM saying, "Hey, I need you to drop. I need you to drop Tony Pollard. Tight tight to ends be, to come." T t tight ends to come. <laughs> to be honest, Tony Pollard, what is that? Minus one twenty. That's a leg. I mean, minus let's one. ask the audience. Let's let's ask the people though. Let's let's ask them. If you guys want Tony Pollard, thumbs up. If you guys don't want Tony Pollard, thumbs down in the comments. I like that though, Ryan. Talk talk to us though. Talk, talk to the people. Why do you think? Like you got to win us over, bro. Like, yeah. Because you know w w w they're playing the Texans. We know that. But you think Tony Pollard's getting in today? Uh, I see Enrad who says Pollard's been flat. Uh, I prefer Zeke. I disagree on the Pollard's been flat. I, I think the thing with Pollard is like the Cowboys are going to score a ridiculous amount of points today. They may be the first NFL team to ever score 100 points today against the Houston Texans. So oh, wow. it's it may happen. But uh, he can do things in the passing game that Zeke cannot. And I think having that flexibility with your running back who is also going to get a lot of carries – uh, is huge, and that's what you're looking for in any time TD plays. Like, if you're going with Zeke, you kind of need the Cowboys to fall around the goal line. I'm not necessarily sure that'll happen today. See, I, I'm Ryan, the opposite of that. I want the goal line back over the guy you need the 20 yard splash play. Like, it's just he, he gets like 12, 15 carries, and you need one of those to break. It's just it's tough. It's I, tough. I don't I, know. I will also say, though, uh, as a callback to how I feel about the New York Giants, uh, the Houston Texans' run defense is stinky poo. Like, they yes. they are poop. Um, I, I, that's why I'm saying Zeke. I'm, I'm, I'm going Zeke there, but, you know. We, we could, I, I, I'm going for the, the one chat? with more value, better value. Sorry. Go ahead. I, I hear you guys. The chat, I, I just wanted to just jump in here and say, like, the chat, I, I did see a lot of thumbs up on Tony Pollard. 
I okay. mean, so like you guys are f- filling it. Just keep on putting those thumbs up. Ryan, take a look at the chat. I'm seeing I see it. a lot of thumbs up for, for my man, Tony Pollard. Sam, I love your, I love Zeke too, but it's the people, you know? Yeah. I mean, we, we need the full get in here. All right. The thumbs ups and thumbs downs are starting to come in. So we got to give them some time, but yeah. M. Phillips says Pollard is a lock. Uh, we have a good stat here from Bagel and Locks who says, so here's a fun uh, stat thing. Only two Texan players have shorter odds than the Cowboys defense. Like I said, guys. Yeah, that's weird. pretty insane. Yeah. There's, it, there's, some Zeke is starting to pop in the chat. Hey, Look, I, you know. I, I do see Zeke, Sam. I do see <laughs> Zeke. I'm not going to lie. All right. I do. We, yeah, there's okay. There's a lot of Zeke love. I All right. If we're going to listen, if, if we're going to do this, we'll, we will, we will start off with, we'll start off with Zeke. I'll, you guys cool with wow. that? Wow. That's that's good vibes by Ryan. Ryan usually doesn't concede this early, so that, yeah. that makes me feel good. That's because like two and three are gonna be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're just setting me up here. You're setting me up. <laughs> we all right, let's do it. We added Zeke. All right. Okay. Uh Zeke's locked in. Okay. So we need geez. Jay Williams, Derek right. Henry, anytime. All right. I was I was just about to read that. I was just about to read that. <laughs> Last that? week we wrote with Derek Henry. Yeah, I mean, this guys. week, my man, Jay, Jay that, that was all the chat. The chat was just pushing Derrick Henry. Yeah. And I was like, all right, fine. We can do Derrick Henry. But yeah, it never. Wasn't, wasn't like, the direct quote that people are passing around are, can I offer a boring one? And then he said, Derrick Henry. I, that's not true. It was all the chat. Yes, of course. Of course. Uh, okay. Let's. I saw somebody. <sighs> trouble, trouble since 1983 says, why not both? Now I'm not advocating for this. I, we just have to answer questions. Yeah. Like said, why not both? It's not a bad take. It's not. It's, not, take. A, it's <laughs> not a. It's not a bad take. It's just my my take is like if the Cowboys start pouring it on, the starters are going to sit. So like you don't want to have to rely on. You don't. I, I just don't think you want to have to rely on two Cowboys here. I think one is fine. A lot of Jamal yeah. Williams love in the chat. I, I don't was know if you just guys are about that. to say that. I there's, was just I'm sorry, about to Greg. Say that. Sorry. Yeah, no, there's no, a, no. You're, 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 you're good. A lot of Jamal Williams is in the chat. Matty Two X says Williams. Uh, Jeffrey Adams, Jamal TD, Jamal TD Williams. We have to go look at it, right? I know. I, I see that. There's J Kobe. There's a lot of love for this game. J Kobe One says Amon Ross, St. Brown, Lock, TJ Hawkinson, Lock. You guys I do love St. Brown. Hey, hey, you saw how you squeezed in TJ Hawkinson in there? Did you pay that guy I, I to say that too? That. I'm, I'm, reading, past that very I'm reading the comment. Guys, TJ Hawkinson returns to Detroit, the the team that traded him in the middle of the season, and he's plus 190 to score a touchdown. I mean. How many targets did he get last week? Probably, I'm a big so, targets guy. Probably big so targets. many. Probably so many. I actually, I actually do not hate Hawkinson. Because this is like to your point, Ryan. Like they will probably want to get him a touchdown against his former team, and if they are in the red zone, I could I could see that happening. So there's gonna I, be a I ton don't... of points too. I just don't think the Vikings can do that though. Like, what do you, you think they could just be like, oh, we want to give Hawkinson a touchdown, so we're just gonna feed him against that Lions defense? Like, you think that they're just gonna call like what they want to do? This is setting up for Lions Greg defense? to transition to Justin Jefferson, which I'm which I'm all for. <laughs> no, I, no, no, no. Let, yeah, no, no, no. He he's not plus money right here, Sam. That's so, true. You know what I'm saying? That's true. <laughs> yeah. That's true. He got six targets last week. He had four for thirty three against the Jets. So you know, not what you love to see. Do you like it to see it? It is plus one ninety. It is plus one ninety against his former team. I this just feels. Where's Jamal what? Williams? Jamal Williams is right there, minus one twenty. Yeah, it's not bad. The people Can, want Jamal Williams. I do. Yeah, give if, us do the in the chat thumbs up or thumbs down for Jamal Williams. Space. I like when the chat gets flooded with thumbs up or thumbs down. Okay, so here yeah. we, we forgot. I I need to read some chat here. Uh, Schmitty says I like TJ for two TDs or more revenge game. Elrod Hawkinson space forty six, Hawkinson probably first TD. Uh, hey Ryan, I want the hilarious. S Riley says I want the stats on revenge games. C. Thomas Ryan. Hawk is a lock. Come on, Hawk you're, is a you're, lock. You're, you're deliberately. You're, hey, he's deliberately going to all the <laughs> Hawkinson comments and reading them off. Because literally, I'm seeing Williams lock. Well, oh, I see Williams. J. Jettis J says Williams lock, and then uh, what's Travis Kelsey, Adam Thielen, Garrett yeah. Wilson, I saw, Jalen I Hurts. saw Adam Thielen. Joe Dean said Adam Thielen, but uh, 
We're not talking about Adam Thielen. It was. I, I thought we were between Jamal Williams and they want Adam, Jay Will. They want Jay Will. Yeah, they want Jay Will. A lot of they want, Okay, how they about want. this? You guys tell us Jamal Williams or T.J. Hawkinson, and that'll yes. be the play that we make. Okay. You guys say so their they, name. Write their name down. Yeah. No right. thumbs up or thumbs Will, down. T, TJ. Is J. Will or Hawk? Yes. J. Will or Hawk? That's all you need to write. <laughs> J. Will or Hawk? Okay. We can. J. Should Will we move on to another leg while the J. Will Hawk situation gets? gets well, they're out. coming in already, Sam. Okay. They're coming in. I I see Williams. I see Williams as a lock. I, I see mean, J. Will. I see Hawk. I see overwhelmingly Hawk. Williams. I see Hawk Lock. I say I see Hawk Lock. You did not see Hawk Lock. I saw Hawk. Wait, hold on. Let me read the the. Uh, Gortz E says Hawk Lock. The last seven Ma- comments are Williams, Maddie, Williams, Williams, Williams. Exactly Williams. the last. I was about to say a lot of Williams in there, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Jamal Williams in there, Ryan. Sorry, right, that's bro. Two. That's God, two. This is juicy. This is juicy. <laughs> <laughs> juicy. It's two o five. That's plus money, baby. <laughs> That's all we look for. <laughs> this is a little. This seems locky to me, bro. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Oh my god! All right, what? What's next? This is now. Let me throw another juicy one at you. Wait, Austin we... Eckler minus two fifteen. <laughs> Would have been three. Yeah, Austin a little Eckler. locky. Just... <laughs> <laughs> that <Okay>. sounds locky. <laughs> Uh, but, but I, you know the chat is going to be like Eckler lock, Eckler lock, take Eckler. Hey, so. hey Ryan, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do got a really him? good take. Do you, got, do you, got a real take, a really good take for you, Ryan. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, Bago and Locks is in the comments and said Zonovan Knight, bro. Yeah, he's probably like minus two fifty. No, <laughs> no, he's not. All right, he's plus two fifteen. Sorry. Yeah, there I, you go. I apologize. That's a, that's up your that's up your alley, that Ryan. That is. Yeah, but it's. Against the Bills, it's going to be so See, You know what it is? Ryan, Ryan only wants the juicy one if he originates it. He does not <laughs> want a chat member. He wants the credit. He wants the glory of I selected That's not the juicy true. one. That is not true. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. It's sub-30 degrees in Buffalo. The, like, I he don't know. He got 15 carries last week. 14 I the guess. week before. Hey, actually, hold on. Plus 862 is not bad. Is, now, what does the chat think of Zonovan? Okay, yeah, I yeah, also yeah, just so. like the amount of hashtag hawk locks that I'm seeing. Not to you know, not to go back, but <laughs> you you paid those people, so <laughs> let's let's move on. <laughs> uh, um, we, got, we got a shout out. Twin number two said, "This is my weekly Sunday morning comedy show." In all caps, we appreciate the love. We're sending <laughs> yes, you some VR betting socks. We love that, <laughs> Sam. You love sending people socks. <laughs> Miriam says we've got a, a boatload of socks we got to get rid of. So we have I'm, too I'm many socks. Help Miriam out. <laughs> Shout uh, out Miriam. I need some of those socks. Those socks are fresh. Those uh, socks are fresh. Um, we, guys, guys. All right. So, are, are are we asking the audience? Are we locking in Zonovan Knight? We no. need you guys to help. Not well, yet. Someone help. threw out. Someone threw out an interesting one. Stephen Diggs, not Stefan Diggs. <laughs> Stephen Diggs. Diggs. And I, you know, I don't know what the odds are in Stevie Diggs, but kind of in on that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Minus 125. What does that take it to, uh, Ryan? I, I tried to click out of that fast. You didn't see it. Uh, I don't like that. Plus 450. No, thank Bro. you, thank you, Sam. I don't like that. No, the onion says Cade Otten or Boston Scott. How do we feel so, about Cade Otten? Love. When this hits, guys, this this probably right Boston. here. Why did Let's we move off Zonovan? I feel like we're right there, and then it just like left. Boston Scott, because look at the look at look at the look at the comments right now, Sam. They're all saying Jesus. hell no. <laughs> to what? To who? To Zonovan or Boston I, I, Scott? I think, I think to Zonovan. I think, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. We need mm. we need another take. We need another take to discuss. Somebody said Boston Scott is crazy versus the Giants. Wow. <laughs> hey, 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 Ryan. Let's just look at this one. I saw uh, Hopkins. I saw Hop- Hopkins in the comments. Somebody commented uh, Hopkins. I just want to see what it. What is what's his numbers? Uh, we're gonna have to wait till Monday night to cash that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't want to. It might not be. A, yeah, it might not be worth it. But let's just. Well, we're men of the people. Yeah, we are men of the people. Plus we have to do our due diligence. Plus five. You know, it's an interesting one or an interesting potential. We go Sunday night game. We try and create a last leg sitch. Keenan Allen or, or, or Mikey Williams 
against poverty Dolphins defense? I told you guys about Keenan Allen last week. I told you guys about Keenan Plus Allen money. last week. Guys, can we pick receivers that are going to finish the game? Like, I get he that. Keenan finished. He, he, he finished the game last week. Mike Keenan Williams. Ball. Also, I, Mike Williams not even on the injury report. Oh, my God. Forever Farah saying Mark Andrews. We talked about this before the show. Mark Andrews goes off with Tyler Huntley as his quarterback. Now, I'm not going to lie. We did talk about that, but that's and those numbers, risky. those numbers were beautiful. Were they not? It's risky, though. My man Keenan Allen went for six for 88 in a touchdown last year. I mean, last week, average 14 yards per catch. Baller. Wow, there's a lot of Tyler Lockett love. I don't know if anyone on our side mentioned Tyler Lockett, but out of nowhere, just like Tyler Tyler Lockett's been scoring. Lockett, Matty 2X, Lockett. Let's see what it's looking like. Eric Galvin, Lockett. All right, all right. Yeah, we'll get get out of this gross Monday night football game. Uh, Tyler Lockett. Where are the Seahawks at? Right here. The Tyler Lockett play is not a bad play. I played him in fantasy the other day. I mean, the That's chat likes so Tyler Lockett. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's ask the chat. Chat, you guys are rocking with Tyler Lockett. We need a lot of thumbs up. Need a lot of thumbs up in the chat if you guys are rocking with Tyler Lockett. If you're not, thumbs down. He's plus 145. They're taking on the Carolina Panthers in Seattle, fellas. This game is happening in Seattle. Ryan, look at your face. Um. I'm not going to get over TJ Hawkinson. I, I won't lie. That's where you make the Ryan special parlay. And it's Tony Pollard. It's Hawkinson. And, and it's Mark whatever Andrews. bullshit other tight end you want to throw it, in there. Yeah, it's, Mar- it's Mark Andrews. Yes. That okay. The there you go. Parlay. So that's the Ryan special. <laughs> and this is our parlay. Okay. Uh, I, yeah. I mean, listen, I'm, I love Tyler Lockett. Tyler Lockett scores a lot. Uh, this is, yeah. Do we want to? All right, we'll go thumb, thumbs up or thumbs down. No, nah, they're, they're go, go go look go look. They're, yeah, they're Brandon Michael, up. that's five thumbs up. That's a that's a five star review right there. Vapor yeah. Man, almost ten thumbs up. Uh, Quan, four thumbs up. Dewan Jackson, three thumbs up. Uh, S. Dislazno, four thumbs down. Uh, probably because they want the Ryan special. Trust me, I'm with you guys, but. We gotta they stick to Ryan. Special. We gotta stick to the plan. Matty two X. You can tell the Ryan special. Yeah, you can. We'll give out the Ryan special at the end. Yes, yeah, so I'll give out the Ryan special. I'll tweet it. We'll, we'll be good. We'll be good, guys. We'll we'll win both. How about that? We will win both. Um, twin number two says Ryan is chock full of hawk. That is true. Uh, kick flip kid. A ton of thumbs. All right. There's love. There's love for this parlay. Let's lock this in. Yeah. Guys. Yeah. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it in. We're gonna lock this one in. Ryan. Um. For one more time, one more time, read the parlay for us. Read it for the new people that just joined the show. This is what we are riding with. I feel good about this. I do. So it's Zeke minus 150 for the first leg. Jamal Williams, not TJ Hawkinson, minus 120 for the second leg. Tyler Lockett is our third leg at plus 145. You cook that all together. It's a three-leg parlay that adds up to plus 648. It is a lock. It is hitting. We will be back this week. We're back. I think we're, we're back. back, guys. We're back. We're back. We're back on the winning side this week. We're going to speak it into existence. Yes. Make sure you guys tell us on DraftKings. And it wouldn't be Sunday, guys, if I didn't do a little anytime TD boost magic. So we're also going to boost Dalvin Cook anytime touchdown from minus 145 to plus 100. There it is. We're going to boost it for you guys. See it right there on the screen. But now. It's time for my man Sam, six best bets. Sam, you brought us six bets. We're sending Ryan back to the chat. We're going to send Ryan back to the chat. Let's start off with your first pick. Can we please get 45 seconds on the clock? Sam, we're going to get right to it. We're going to waste no time. And we're counting how many times you say DVOA. I just want you to know that. (laughs) So let's go. Let's get right to it. (laughs) All right. Let's do it. We're starting off hot. We're starting off controversial. I think you're on the other side of this game too, so it should be interesting. But my favorite pick of the day is Lions money line at minus 130. Um, I know people were really surprised when this line came out that the Lions were favored. But to me, the Lions are just 
or sorry, the Vikings are just the luckiest team like we've ever seen. Just historically lucky. Um, I know Ryan has a tweet that uh, I Very paid lucky. him to bring up after after I'm done. But this is a below average team, in my opinion. They're they're twentieth in DVOA, which is a spot below the Atlanta Falcons. They're consistently getting outgained. They're consistently winning games they shouldn't win. And meanwhile, the Lions are playing really good football. They're at home. They're in a dome. Their defense has really improved. I really, really like the Lions today. I think they finally end this Vikings luck. Sam likes the Lions. I do not. But that is okay because it's not about what I like. It's not about what he, uh, Sam like. It's about what you guys like. You guys, the people. And let's get let's talk to the people. There he is, Producer Ryan. Producer Ryan, what is the chat talking about? Well, first, uh, Sam, I'll give you my Venmo after the show. Of course. Um, and Yeah, cool. Uh, but we pulled up this tweet from Aaron Schatz to, uh, you know, back up your propaganda. Vikings will go from the first team ever with negative DVOA at 9-2 and two to the first team ever with negative DVOA at 10-2. and two. 2000s Vikings will be the only other 10-2 and two team within 15 percentage points of them. So They're historically lucky. We've never seen a team this bad. I, if you don't know what DVOA is, just the point is we've never seen – a team this bad be a 10 and two and it's just completely unsustainable and the lions are good. So that's it. I'm done. Yeah. Uh, done. All right. But the chat, Jackham lions is a lock and dropped not one, two lock emojis. Let's uh, go. Cool. Justin Ryan, breath. What's up? What's wait, going on? Wait, 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 hold on. Do you what got up, people making fake pages, bro? I see a producer Ryan in the comments. No, that's me. <laughs> is that no, that's me. Oh, that's, Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I thought Ryan had people making fake pages. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I, I did not mean to, to interrupt your mojo. Keep going, bro. Keep going. No, no, no. All good. Uh, KR5 says, this guy goes against the Vikings every week. Damn right you do. I do. I do. Yeah. <laughs> I do. And yeah. they, they've beat me, like, hand up. But I just, I don't think it's sustainable. Uh, and I did get them one week when the Cowboys beat them by 75 points, so. Uh, yes, yes. Good times. That was good fun. times. That was uh, MHB4, I like Detroit. Uh, Justin Colbreth, Jamal Williams, first time, uh, first touchdown. Uh, we already touched on this, man. Jeffrey Adams, Lions with a thumbs up emoji. Uh, Lions are getting a lot of love. The Lions are, Lions are maybe they're love. America's team. They might be America's team. <laughs> they might. Find Dan they might. Yes. Hey, let's send producer Ryan back to the chat. Sam, you got one pick. You gave us one pick. You got five more to go. Can we get 45 seconds on the clock? There it is, Sam. Take it away. All right, so my next pick, well, the line has actually moved here a good amount. So I have Browns plus five and a half. I think it's at four Well, right now, which we'll have producer Ryan confirm, maybe lower. Um, I still like it at four, but um, to me, that's just a really, really bad situational spot for the Bengals. Um, I, I like this Bengals team a lot, but again, this is just a really tough spot for them. They're coming off a monster win against the Chiefs. They've heard all week what Nick Saban would call rat poison about how good they are. They're going back to the Super Bowl, all this stuff. And having to play a divisional opponent with this many points is just too much. And 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 the Browns are playing well. You know they've they've won two in a row. You got another week to you know get acclimated with the quarterback switch. Um, so I, I like them here. And and you get a little value just based on the line inflation because I think it originally, well, I guess now it's back down to four. But at five and a half, the line was a little bit inflated after the Bengals' big win. Sam, are you are you, do you have any optimism? Are you skeptical at all? after seeing that offense from Cleveland last week? It wasn't good. It, I know Brian touched on it that all of their points were off, you know, special teams and defense. But I think you get another week, again, acclimated the quarterback change. And I also like them to just slow this game down with Chubb. It's what they do, which really bodes well for an underdog. So um, I, I I do still like the Browns, even though, yeah, they, they did look not great offense. I do want to say this. I do want to say this. My man Ryan gave us a scoop before the show. He says the Bengals do not play the Browns well. So go look at the trends. Go peep it. My Divisional man games. Sam might be on to something. He might be on to something. Two down, four more to go, 45 seconds on the clock, please. There it is, Sam. Take it away. All right. This next one is very scary, just for me personally, because – the next time I win a bet on a game involving the Tennessee Titans will be the first one because this team just kills me when I bet on them, they get smoked when I bet against them, they lose. But I really like the Jags this week at, at plus three and a half. Look, the, the Titans are just a mess right now. Um, they can't run the ball. There's two weeks in a row where they've just been totally stopped on the ground. They're now down to, I think 20th and rough rush offense DVOA, which really matters a lot when your quarterback is Ryan Tannehill, who's kind of hobbled nice. and you have no offensive weapons. Like, 
they they just really don't have anything going for them. So for me, this is more of just a total fade of the Titans than it is a play on the Jags. But I do like buying a little low on the Jags and after they got smoked last week and a must-win spot to save their season. But Titans, I'm, they're on my shit list again. I, I'm totally out on them. <laughs> The Titans are on Sam's shit list, so he's rocking with Jacksonville plus three and a half. Sam, that's three picks that you got. I, I, I'm just in the comments, and and I see Ryan talking to himself in the comments. Well, I don't, I really don't know what's going on with that guy. He's literally <laughs> talking to himself, talking about identity theft in the comments. Uh, we'll bring him in here in a minute, but uh, Sam, we got three picks, three more to go. Uh, 45 seconds on the clock, please. Thank you. There it is. Go ahead, Sam. All right. My next pick is Panthers plus four. Um, Another gross one that I'm sure the chat will hate. Um, Look, I bet on the Seahawks team a lot to start the year. But to me, I'm starting to get concerned with them. They've had a few weeks in a row where their defense has just looked really suspect. They gave up a million yards to the Raiders on the ground. They let John Wofford almost, or Wolford, however you pronounce it, uh almost beat them last week they needed to really scrape by to win that game uh they just haven't been playing as well and carolina like give them credit they have their defense has been amazing the last few weeks i think they've given up 28 points total in the last three weeks they've been fighting with an interim coach sam darnold has looked competent fighting for his nfl life so they're not tanking the season away and i just don't think the Seahawks are, are playing well enough to warrant being this big of favorites even at home so so sam you're banking on a close game here Banging on a close game, field goal game. Okay, field goal game. Okay, I like that. I like that. Like, cause Seattle at home, that's a tough. That's a tough, tough win. Uh, yeah. But they did they lose did. to the poverty Raiders though two weeks they ago. They did. Home. They did. And I said the same thing. I said, you know what? I like this, Sam. I like this. that's four, four, and four down. Two more to go, Sam. Can we get forty-five seconds on the clock, please? There it is. Let's go, Sam. All right, if I already haven't lost the chat, which I feel like the last few weeks that I've got the chat on my side, and I think this week I'm just going to totally lost them, which is which is okay. But this one is going to lose them. I am taking the Denver Broncos plus nine and a half. Look, this is this is gross as it gets. I totally get it. Like, don't watch this game, but I think at the end of the game, you will look up and you will see your bet is cashed here. Um, the Broncos defense is still playing really, really well. Um, and this is just too many points at home in a divisional game. You give me a defense that is, generally speaking, allowing 14 points a week, like I'm taking 10 points. And they're obviously not going to hold the Chiefs to 14 points, but even the Chiefs get 20, 24. All you really need is two touchdowns from the Broncos, which I know is scary with Russell Wilson, but the Chiefs defense is 25th in defensive DBA. They have a really bad defense, and I just I put my faith in Russ that he can get me two touchdowns and cover this number, but it's just too many points. Sam's putting his face in, faith in Russ, so you might need to get on your knees and pray, brother, because putting your faith in Russ this year, I don't know. It's been dicey. Mostly the Broncos dicey. defense. I just want two touchdowns, Russ. Just give me two. <laughs> Sam wants two touchdowns. I want to know what's going on in the chat. Let's bring producer Ryan back in here because my man is in the chat talking to himself, I think. It's what it looks like. or, or I don't know if he has people – my identity is uh, being stolen. Identity. <laughs> My, there is somebody in the chat who has no followers, not following anybody, no profile picture. Producer underscore Ryan. That is not me. <laughs> My, I didn't even have time to see what, how they feel about. You Sam's got a check picks. mark. I do have a check yeah. mark. I'm verified. Uh, oh yeah, producer Ryan's verified. You're, you're verified goodness. on that. My goodness. Uh, all right, let's get to the actual takes. Well, I'm on. I was on the phone with the FBI during that, so identity theft is not is not a joke. Uh, the onions. Russ has more. Russ has more toilets than pass t- passing touchdowns. Uh, that might be true. I don't know how big his house is. Uh, he also said he likes the over in the Vikings and Lions game. Uh, Specko says I love four out of five, but Denver just can't. Um, I get that. I totally get that. Like yeah. I've. Roast the Broncos pick. I get it, but I do think it's going to hit. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. M. Taylor said you're picking some suspect teams today. Uh, there was somebody who didn't like your backing of the Panthers because of Sam Darnold. I'm trying to find who that was, but uh, I-, I would imagine that most of the chat does not enjoy you backing yes. Sam Darnold. So. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the chat. It's not positive this week. That's okay. You know, I, you know, I, I take that. I take that in. I try to do my best to put forward some winners, and 
you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see at the at next week if the chat won or if hey, I won. Hey, hey, this is hilarious, bro. The chat really, the chat, Triggerway has a DVOA counter on Sam. He says, Sam, <laughs> I love that. DVOA four, keep them coming. No, he said, keep counting. So I can't, apparently you said DVOA four That's times. not that many times. I'm proud of myself. If I keep I mean, it under nine and a half, I'm, I'm <laughs> thrilled with that. Uh, it's Joe, up to five. It just went up to five. Uh, but yeah. uh, the live line right now is currently at ten and a half, <laughs> and we are taking bets. You guys can uh, DM me, Greg underscore. <laughs> no, over. but that's super funny that we got the audience actually counting Sam's DVOA. Uh, how many times he say it? Uh, I, I love it. I love it. Get back in there, Ryan. Get back. What else are they talking? Yeah, about? no, we got some late love from Doctor Eighty Seven and Devin Flowers. Both De- Doctor Eighty Seven says Panthers win. Uh, Devin Flowers says Carolina plus four and Denver plus nine and a half. Love them both. Uh, Joe Dean says he loves the Denver pick. I put them in my parlay. So we had some late love come in for the back end of your picks there um, that maybe were gross, hey, stinky, uh, nasty. My bad, producer Ryan. But no, Sam, you're, you're getting some love in the comments. They they want to know your Twitter, your Twitter handle. So give them your Sam Twitter Richmond handle. BR. So just my name and then where I work. Pretty simple. No underscore. Sam, not underscore guy. Make sure y'all tap in with Sam. Sam, also, we got Dad Onominator88. He's new to the show. He said that he was new to the show, and he hoped that he could come here and get some unbiased plays from us. So welcome to the show. Thank you for tuning in. But, Sam, uh, he's new to betting. So Dad Onominator88 says, what's DVOA? So explain it to him. DVOA, so there's just obviously just a bunch of advanced metrics out there, and I think DVOA does the best job of sort of combining everything about football into just very basic numbers to understand in rankings. But it basically just accounts for every single play that's happening is being graded and looked at. It factors in strength of schedule. It factors in luck. It factors in all that shit that the Vikings suck at and are somehow winning games. <laughs> when you get out gained by 200 yards and still win a game, your DVOA can drop even though your record might increase. So. Uh, it's just a, a really good advanced metric that I think encapsulate everything that happens in a game. Ryan, there's breaking news Wait. in the chat. Sam, oh, thank you. Ahead, that sorry. was a great, that oh, was a no. great, great. It's breaking news in the chat. There's yeah. like five, there's like five producer Ryan's in the I know. chat now. Where they're like, <laughs> they're like colonizing right now. I did want to touch on a comment. Uh, no- Noel Gua- Guadarrama says, Ryan is a loser, spelt with two S's. Why y'all saw got this man giving picks? Guys, I'm 4-0. <laughs> the real producer Ryan. Look at, bro. Oh my God, that's super funny. All right, let's send Ryan back to the chat because I, I strongly feel he's making all of these, these, these I'm not. You know what? I, you know what is unfair. You know what is unfair is you guys bet the over on live DVOA and then read a comment where I had to say it four times and now <laughs> trigger away has got me at like eight and I probably said it two more times so the over is cash. So DVOA, DVOA, you guys win. <laughs> All right, hey, Cash. let's send Ryan back to the chat. Ryan, you're going to come back here soon. 45 seconds on the clock. Sam, we got five picks. We need one more. Let's get to it, brother. All right, last pick, Chargers plus three and a half. Um, I bet against the Chargers a lot this year, but I think this is a really good buy low spot with an inflated line. Um, we've talked a lot about this show, how important I think it is when the Chargers have their full complement of offensive weapons. Keenan Allen healthy, Mike Williams healthy, not even on the injury report. Um, and like, I, you know, the Dolphins defense is bad. Like, it's just not good. It's been average blow average all year. <laughs> they got lit up by Brock Purdy last week and like Niners are obviously really good, but to me, that's a pretty bad look, uh, to get beat up by Brock Purdy coming off the bench. And, uh, and I think the biggest hold the chargers have is their rush defense. Well, the Dolphins don't really run the ball that much. Their game is through the air and the chargers are competent through pass defense. So just too many points for the Chargers at home, buy low on that team, and a, and a savior season type spot, in my opinion. There it is. My man Sam's rocking with the Chargers plus three and a half. I see S. Riley 99. He's been, bro, he's been riding with your picks the whole day, but he says he likes the Chargers money line. Shout out to you, S. Riley. Let's bring producer Ryan back in here because he's going to talk about the chat. He's probably going to talk about all the fake accounts that he's, uh, that he's paying people to make. Guys, there's so many producer Ryan. This is brutal. <laughs> and like all the other producer Ryans are like calling out the other producer Ryans to stop being fake. And I, I've lost Bro. control. I've lost control of the chat. I'm a man of the chat, but I've lost full control. 
Hey, they're, they're, what, producer Ryan says, producer Ryan, unite. <laughs> I'm so trying. They're united in the chat, man. I tried to form a super team with the other producer Ryan, so we just stopped fighting each other, but it's, it's not going to happen. They, they all want to be their own producer Ryan. I get it. Um, all right. Specko says, yes, without a healthy uh, Armstead, Tua will struggle. Um, <laughs> producer Ryan, Rye Guys Unite. Uh, there's so much producer Ryan talking here right now with these fake accounts. Uh, a. Schrenecker says, Derwin James out. Does that concern you, Sam? It does. I mean, I expected that. So, no, not not super concerned. Um, and I think the arms, I think Armstead's going to play, but I do think he's banged up. And I just, I, I just have not liked what I've seen from this Dolphins defense. Um, and uh, and yeah, I just I don't know if they're going to be able to protect you with a with a banged up Armstead. Okay, so with that with that note on the Dolphins defense, Slime eighty three jumped in here and said Chargers Chargers Dolphins over. I know that's not the pick that you gave out, and I know it's not a direct. I don't hate pick. I don't hate that. I just don't bet totals. Like I I just there's no really rhyme or reason behind it. I just spreads are more fun to me, I, but I, I don't hate it. Yeah, and I will say the total in that game is fifty five. Uh, that is an absurd a total. That, that that's a, a like a college football total. Um. Sanoa says Derwin James out. Waddle Hill going off. Take their props. Uh, yeah, Quen G says I like Chargers money line. So uh, surprisingly, have the people fallen off on the Dolphins? I'm confused. Uh, I don't. We got I don't a lot of Chargers. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, know why, why they're falling off on, on the Dolphins. They played a good 49er team last week. I mean, I'm just saying. But, you know, yeah, no I bias. Know why no bias should. there. Yeah, no, no bias. I'm just no. saying they shouldn't fall off on the Dolphins. They're a good team. Really good team. Yeah. Um, Ryan, are we done with the chat, man? Should we move on, or what's what's what's, what's the vibe? Yeah, yeah. There's too much too much fraud going on in the chat right now. So let, let's just move on. Too much fraud going on in the chat. Too much uh, producer Ryan's. They are uniting in the chat. I love to see it. Love to see it. Uh, let's move on. You guys see it coming up, coming up. You see it at the top of your screen where it says Greg's pick. Yes, we heard from Sam. Now I got a pick for you, Ryan. Let's pull up DraftKings. Oh, actually, you already have it pulled up. Let's All right, so it. look at look at guys, Sam, Ryan, people in the chat, people that are watching. We have a rule here on this show. We have a rule on this show. Whenever you see Justin Jefferson plus money to score a touchdown, you take it. Today, my man Justin Jefferson to score a touchdown, he was minus, I believe, 140. But I started scrolling. I started scrolling on DraftKings looking to find my man Jeff Justin Jefferson uh, with some plus money. And I found something, Ryan. I found something. I found Justin Jefferson to score and the Vikings to win. Can you please click it so I can see what's the odds, Ryan? Justin Jefferson to score and the Vikings to win at plus 200. It's plus money. Justin Jefferson is plus money. I think the Vikings are going to prove Sam wrong. All that DVOA metrics that he's talking, I think they're going to prove him wrong and go into Detroit and go get a win. I think that they're going to do that today, and I think my man Justin Jefferson is going to help them do that against that Lions defense. So I'm locking this one in, fellas. I'm, I'm locking this one in. I, I think we need a side bet between uh, between me and you. And so, uh, maybe, the, maybe the chat can give suggestions for side bets on, on Lions-Vikings, but, uh, yeah. but no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, give us – Give us suggestions. Definitely give us suggestions. Uh, Ryan, do you have a take on my play? You're kind of quiet, bro. Nah, no disrespect. I'm just I'm on the Lions today, so I can't <laughs> I can't back that. But Fabian Cantu jumped in and said Browns and Vikings money line today. So you got some love with the Vikings. Oh yeah, I know I got Ryan. We have to tell them why I picked the Vikings. Like I literally asked you that you, question for a reason. You I asked you that question for a reason. So I want to let you guys know when I came here. Before the show, you know, we prep or whatever. And I asked Ryan. I, Ryan told me that the Lions was a lock today. So immediately, <laughs> immediately after that, I roll with the Vikings and I'm riding with the Vikings because it's an auto fade of producer Ryan. <laughs> auto fade of the man who's 4-0 and on this show. What, what are we doing, guys? Can I just say, just watching the fake producer Ryan accounts giving like real takes is so funny to me. (laughs) They're giving picks, they're giving analysis from fake uh, producer Ryan accounts. So keep it up. We need to. We need more fake producer Ryan accounts. I want to encourage identity theft and fraud. Yeah. Yeah, Hey Ryan, Ryan, Sam, Ryan's four and zero. But real question, he's four and zero. But what's his DVOA? 
Yeah, it's it's a it's a fluky. <laughs> yeah, <now>. yeah, right. <laughs> Am I a lucky fraud? According to it's Sam. worse. It's worse. Yeah. It's worse than the Vikings. Yeah. But all right, I gave my pick. I gave my pick. Now it's time for the Mister Four and oh, Mister Producer Ryan, Mister Fake Count, Mister Verified Himself, Mister I Need plus 2000 or better. No, I'm just kidding. I, I, let's go, mm-hmm. Ryan. It, it, I tried to give you the best intro, but there it is. Like, yeah, I appreciate go. that. Take, All right. Take let, it away. Yeah, step into my office, okay? We're 4-0. <laughs> oh. We're 4-0. Oh. Uh, God on this show is 0-1, and, and I'm 4-0. Oh. Let's just let uh... that sink in for a second. Uh, MM, M Mike 43 jumped in and said, what's your take on Giants-Eagles? Giants, he dropped a second take because we didn't answer him. He said, Giants-Eagles, let's talk. The New York Giants may win this football game today. I will say that straight up. I know I've said on this show that they're poop, they're sticky poo, they stink, they're a bad football team. All of that is true. They may be one of the worst teams in the NFL. But don't let the Giants know that they are heavy underdogs to a division rival at home. They are plus seven and a half today on DraftKings. They're going to cover that, and they're going to cover it easily we're not going to be I, – I know I've said oh, we're 4-0 oh in this show. Next week I'm going to come on and we're going to say we're 5-0. and oh. I have not let you down one time, guys. The New York Giants plus 7.5. It is a lock. It is hitting. They may win the game, but we're taking the points. That's it. That's all I have to say. There it is. If there it the is. Giants hit next week, I really think we should intro the show where Greg calls Ryan the man, the myth, the legend, and we start with Ryan's picks, and I can just come in on the back end. I, that's fair. No, I won't no. advocate for it. I won't advocate for it. But if you want that, that's fair. No, Ryan. Ryan. Ryan's fluky. He's like the. He's like the Vikings. <laughs> he's like the Vikings. <laughs> he's like the Vikings. He got to go like. He got to go like seven, eight, no. Then I'll start giving him credit. But it's unbelievable. Ryan, you'll be you'll be happy to know that producer underscore 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 Ryan says I'm riding with producer Ryan. So there you go. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I love that my own producer Ryan fake accounts are backing me. That would be bad if they weren't. So I uh, love that. <laughs> uh, that hey, uh, all right. So we all locked in our picks. Ryan, talk to us. What are the people saying? What are, or what are they in the, saying in the chat? Don't read. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Read the producer Ryan. Read, read all the producer Ryan's. We love those. We love you guys getting in the chat and having some fun. Uh, Sonoa says Eagles Giants def a, tra- def a trap game stay away trap game for the Eagles for sure uh, let's see we need we need some bets we need some bets because um, we want to grade them Mike White Mike White anytime touchdown oh I don't like that because they weren't even they weren't even willing to sneak him in the end zone to win the game last week with, against the Vikings at the one inch line so I'm still pissed about that so no don't like it uh, we had a take from Dr. 87 that said DeAndre Swift, anytime touchdown. I'm not out on it. Lions win today. He, did, he also <laughs> said Swift. He said he said Swift TD plus Lions money line, but I was trying to get good vibes from Greg. So, <laughs> what do we uh, hey. Minus 110. Wait, now, what was that, Ryan? I'm sorry. I was reading the comments. DeAndre, what was it? DeAndre Swift, anytime touchdown, minus 110. To be all right, be minus. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, okay. yeah, I'm on the other side, but like, I mean, the pick is cool. You know yeah, I mean? all right, all right. Uh, trigger away, uh, Tua over one and a half passing touchdowns. Over. Don't hate it. Going to be a lot of points in that game. Uh, he's, Dolphins he's lose, back. but a lot of points. Okay, he's so we like back. it. <laughs> MHB four, Kirk Cousins over two and a half yards. I'm assuming that's <laughs> rushing. I'm, I have to assume that's rushing. Well, I will say Kirk Cousins over two and a half pass yards. That is my <laughs> play of the day. So I will take that. That is an A. It's an A, a play. Uh, Anthony Pittman, Mark Andrews, anytime touchdown, plus 240. You got. You already love know it. I was pushing. Love it. Like it. Yes. Love it. Love a it. minus. Oh, oh Actually, we love whoa, it. Whoa, whoa. We love it, whoa, but couldn't put it in the parlay. The now answer me that. We love it, but we couldn't put it I in the parlay. I never said we couldn't put it in the parlay. Yeah, did you ever? You're bring fighting that up? your own demons, I, man. No one, no one said that. Oh my god, I did bring it up. Uh, the stats, yes, the stats the, from last the, year. The uh, people choose. That I know they brought it up. Uh, the two games that Mark Andrews played with Tyler Huntley, his stat line was 11 receptions, 115 yards, and a touchdown, and 13 right here. I have it highlighted. 13 targets. 
10 receptions, 136 yards, and two touchdowns. I don't think there's going to be a lot of points in this game today, but if they're going to score, it's going to be Tyler Huntley to Mark Andrews. Uh, this is an A-plus pick for me. I agree. I Edson, agree. I like it. Edson Lozano, Lo, Lozano asked for the Ryan special, so why don't you give them the Ryan special? Okay, the Ryan special. I'm trying to – all right, here we go. TJ Hawkinson, anytime touchdown. Mark Andrews, anytime touchdown. And Tony Pollard, anytime touchdown. It's three there legs. It I believe it's four. I believe it's plus fourteen hundred. Fourteen to one. It doesn't get there better than that. That's how you get rich. There, there it is. Ryan, review all the picks, man. Let's review all the picks from today before we say goodbye to the people. Okay. So our anytime touchdown parlay, not the Ryan special. The other one <laughs> that will hit though. Uh, Zeke Elliott, minus 150, Jamal Williams, minus 120, Tyler Lockett, plus 145. You parlay that. I believe we said it was around plus 686. Uh, and then our anytime touchdown boost today is Dalvin Cook to even money, plus 100. There it is. There you go. There it is. And then our we six bets it. we love, which would be there it is. Sam's picks. Yeah. Detroit Lions money line, Cleveland Browns plus five and a half. Jacksonville Jaguars plus three and a half. Carolina Panthers plus four. Denver Broncos plus nine and a half. And the Los Angeles Chargers plus three and a half on Sunday Night Football against the Miami Dolphins. There it is. And then Greg's pick. Sir, best, Justin best Jefferson, anytime touchdown. And the Minnesota Vikings to win. I was on the page before, Greg, and you'll like this. It has now jumped to plus 215. So Ooh. we love that. Yes. Uh, and then... My pick that will not lose uh, the New York Giants plus seven and a half. Again, if you like to, if you would like to get a little crazy, you might want to sprinkle on some money line because they're going to win. But we take it easy. We'll take it safe and take the points. So there, there it is. is. That's all. The, that's all our picks. That's all our picks for a lot today. Of picks today. Make sure you guys get yes. on DraftKings and tail with us, guys. It's time to go win some money. It's time to go get rich. It's it time is. to go see a lot of wins. So let's sign off. My name is Greg Ivory. Next to me is the man, the myth, the legend, Sam Richmond. And next to him is producer Ryan. The real producer Ryan. The The real real producer Ryan. The verified producer Ryan. We are out of here, y'all. See y'all next week. Peace.